Hi everyone. Uh, so it's it's me Adina again, uh, doing another Facebook Live with uh, yourselves. Uh, I do hope that uh, you enjoy. So today I'm going to talk about uh, painting by numbers versus painting free flow. And of course, I'm not talking about painting itself, but doing life by numbers, i.e. how you've been taught or how um, um, society teaches you um, versus uh, how uh, you would like to and how your soul would like to actually live in a true, authentic way. So I'm going to start with um, Arnold Schwarzenegger. I think he uh, in the experience that he makes, uh, that he had, makes a really good point. That obviously he started his career as a bodybuilder, um, so he was once in the gym and he saw a bodybuilder that was wearing glasses, and that completely changed his way of thinking and his way of being. Uh, he thought up until then that you could be only one thing: you could either be a bodybuilder or you could be smart, or at least for him wearing glasses represented someone that was smart and not necessarily someone that um, actually had uh, a vision impairment. And I think that he has proved that in his life. Uh, you know, again, he started his life as a bodybuilder and then he went on into movies and then he went into politics and then he went back into movies because you know, we're, we're not only one thing, we are many things. We are, well, I am a wife, but I'm also a team player when I go to work. I also enjoy uh, walks or th there are many aspects or many layers that make us. Um, and, and so I'm, I'm here to talk to you about that. So again, doing life by numbers is living life how others um, think that is best for you or how um, society teaches us that we should do things and they can be cultural things um, and also friends and family. Again, they do come from a point of love, the friends and family, when they tell us to do things um, or to take certain decisions in certain situations in our lives. But it's only us really that we have to live with that decision and that we have to agree with that decision that is happening in our lives. So for example, you know, going to university uh, it can be a major decision in, in everyone's life and it sure was in, in my life as well, especially because I wasn't sure uh, what I wanted to do. But at that point, I was thinking, you know, I'm, I'm not sure what I want to do, but there are certain things that I enjoy in life and actually I'm going to go with the things that I enjoy doing in, in my life or knowing about in my life as opposed to the things that would bring me more money or would bring me more prospects at, at the job. So yeah, I did uh, end up doing psychology and criminology because at the time I was really fascinated with uh, why people do bad things and that is perfectly okay. You know, I didn't have a plan at that point. I just thought this sounds like a good um, interesting thing to learn about and and I did that. So um, yeah, it's, it's about what sort of experiences would you like to have in life and the experiences that you're having at the moment, are you happy with them? You know, are you attracted the same situations over and over again or um, is it, is it the same thing that that is happening to you or is it something new or is it good experiences or is it not so pleasant experiences so again living life in in free flow is about doing what you truly love and what you truly desire and sometimes when we are you know living 
day to day, every day, it's not so easy to come in contact with our true selves and know what we really like to do and what we, um, what makes our soul sing. But there are many ways in which you can declutter your life to get back to that authentic joy and that authentic self and feeling in in bliss and in joy every day. You know, it might not be for the whole day, but feeling that true soul joy every day. So, um, you know, part of um, living... Um, um, by free flow is also telling the complete and absolute truth and it's sometimes not easy to do that uh, you know for fear that we might hurt others that we might hurt ourselves and what will people think and etc etc but telling the complete and absolute truth it is important if you can't tell it to others at least tell it to yourself so again, I come back to, to the example of me going to university and studying psychology and criminology. You know, at that point, again, I was completely honest with myself that I didn't know what I wanted to do in life. And that was okay. But I was having some interests in, in that area, again, of psychology. And that's what I decided to go on and study. So telling the complete and actual, absolute truth um, will allow you to know yourself better, to know what your true preferences are. So do you know what you enjoy? Is it walking down the beach or is it watching movies or do you like going to the spa? What are your preferences? What is it that makes your soul sing? And again, if you don't know what that is, at least be honest with yourself and say that you don't. And if you do, that is great. Make a list of the things that you actually enjoy, truly enjoy, without making them wrong or without saying, oh, what will people think? What will people say? It's just make a list and do those things that you truly enjoy and it makes your soul sing. So, um, again, coming back to telling the complete and absolute truth. Um, one time I was in Romania, obviously I still uh, visit my, um, my country, my home country. And I was supposed to see a friend and I've had, I had such a long day seeing people and, and talking to people right, left and center. And so I was, I called this friend up and while I was calling her, I was thinking, oh my gosh, I need to come up with an excuse. I was absolutely overwhelmed and knackered um, and didn't want to see this friend, not because of anything that, that she's done. She was a lovely friend, but I just could not, I just did not have any more energy. So I, while I was on the phone or the, the phone was ringing and I was trying to come up with an excuse, she answered the phone and I had no excuse. So then I just told her the truth. You know, actually, I'm, I've am i had a really long day. Um, it's just seeing people all over the place and I feel really thinly stretched. And she was like, oh, that's fine. That's fine. We don't have to meet. And that completely took me by surprise. I was like, are you serious? I mean, I don't have besides being tired i don't have any other real reason for not wanting to be with you or meet you and you saying that that is fine it's like yeah of course what friends are for if you can't be completely uh, honest and and say that you actually don't feel like meeting and that was the first time when that actually happened to me somebody me telling someone the complete and absolute truth and then taking it that yeah it's completely fine it's like oh my god it is safe to be myself and it is safe to express my my authentic preferences and what i would like to experience so yeah um obviously i'm still 
friends with her and she is a dear friend. We don't talk all the time or always, but it's one of those people that you know when you see them, that it's always nice to meet, to reconnect, and it is a joyous and genuine reconnection. Um, so, yeah, living life by, by free flow, it involves listening to your gut instinct, to that little voice inside of you that uh, will tell you um, what might be the best choice. And, uh, obviously, it's not the rational mind that I'm talking about here, it's the gut instinct versus the rational mind. And the rational mind is great, it helps us do our jobs, it helps us do accounting, it helps us do our finances, um, but sometimes in life we need much more than the rational mind. Sometimes we're faced with choices or with decisions that we don't really know which way to go. And a gut instinct um, is actually better to go with than the actual rational mind. And going with your gut instinct sometimes takes you down the path less traveled and down new experiences. So, you know, this can bring up fear, this can bring up anxiety, uh, especially if the people around you are telling you that that's not what you should do. Again, they, the people around you, friends and family, they come from a place of love, but they might not necessarily know what is best for you. It is only yourself that needs to live with the decisions that you make and if you are happy within yourself, that is all that matters. You don't need to win nobody's approval and no one else's acceptance. So, um, yeah, so going with your gut instinct can take you down the, the, the narrower path or the path less traveled. And sometimes, you know, it, it doesn't have to be a life and death struggle, obviously, a good example here would be Nelson Mandela. So many people were against him and him and a few close of close friends of his, you know, they changed so much and they fought for the rights of the colored people in his country. But for us, you know, the the day to day living people, it doesn't have to be a life and death struggle. But, you know, you you can think of situations in your life. Is it um, have you, have you been confronted with any instances when maybe your boss or someone around you didn't quite get where you're coming from? Or maybe they've told you something that wasn't quite right. So, you know, it's, it's, it also helps you to build courage and confidence in yourself that going with your gut instinct and, and sticking by your guns is the right thing to, for you. Because again, truly nobody knows you as well as you know yourself. And if you feel that, that you don't know yourself so well, you know, again, I come to my earlier point when it's okay, there are things that you can do um, that will help you uncover yourself and uncover your own unique um, gorgeousness because we are all amazing and um, and superb and if you feel at this moment that you, you don't you don't really feel that way or you don't really get it or if you feel that is not true about yourself then you know um, that's 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 just fine that's where you are but you are um gorgeous and divine and um i am here to help you uncover that if you're not quite there yet right so again um when you have experiences that you find yourself um, following your gut, gut instinct as opposed to what other people are telling you. Um, a really good and quick way of knowing um, what you should do is put your hand on your heart. So this gets you in touch with your heart 
and this gets you in touch with your emotional intelligence. As I've mentioned earlier, uh, I, did, I do have a degree in psychology and criminology. So one of the things that I studied uh, during my degree was actually IQ, so actual intelligence. And there were many researches and many uh, scientists that have come up with um, the ultimate IQ test. Uh, you know, so-and-so so discovered this and then a few years later, no, this is the ultimate IQ test, this is the ultimate IQ test. But um, later research actually, um, in, uh, they, they actually conducted uh, emotional intelligence IQ, so they discovered that actual intelligence is not everything. Emotional intelligence also uh, helps you to um, be a better person and it does actually count as intelligence to be empathetic to be uh, you know genuinely nice to other people not just nice but you know when it comes from the heart so again when you don't know what to do or you feel that you need a little bit of help that is perfectly fine so you put your hand on your hand on your heart and you ask um whatever question you have on your mind three times so a really quick tip here is to make it as a yes or a no answer so just as a random example should i study psychology at university yes or no and then just go with the first thing that comes to mind and do that three times and don't make it wrong and don't make it right just just allow the answer to come to you um, and sometimes, you know, we're so attached to the outcome, we're so attached to getting it right, and what if I make a mistake, and, and so on and so on. Just try to quieten yourself down, try to quieten the mind, and just for a few moments, close your eyes, think of nothing else, and just ask the question that you would like to have the answer to, because your heart and your true self, they already know the answer to it. And if you do go down the path less travel, then you end up falling flat on your face. You know, it's, it's perfectly fine. You tried something new, it didn't work. Get up and reflect on what happened and readjust and go again. You know, I mean, we mess up and I mess up every day. And some messes up are bigger than others, but actually, if I'm happy with myself at the end of the day, that's all that matters. I don't have to seek anyone else's approval but my own. And it took me a really long time to get to this, and I'm actually still working on it, you know. Not doing things just because my family are telling me, not doing things because that's the way they're supposed to be done, and you shouldn't do things like this and you know just just um peer pressure and family pressure and social pressure um you find it everywhere and if you're ready and willing to strip down and find out who you really are underneath that is why i'm doing these talks that um hopefully you will um get to that point where you would like to discover better who you really are and again i'm here to guide you either through breath work or if you'd like a simple chat then then that i can do that for you as well okay so company is also stronger than willpower so if you um, always hang out with people that are talking about their ills and their problems and their illnesses then you know they'll rub off on you try to be in with people of like-mindedness and people that um, talk about the good things in their life or um, read an interesting book um, just find things that again make your soul sing um, as i said earlier and make you happy because that's what is going to keep you in a positive mental attitude and it really is a training of the mind you know if you find yourself 
you know, thinking of the worst first, you know, you, you're not the first one. I used to do that. And sometimes I still do when something is bothering me. Um, but it's training of the mind and it's training to think positive and allow nothing else to think, uh, to, to interfere. And if you do find yourself surrounded by people that, um, again, they talk about their, their ills and their worries and their troubles and their, you know, try to find maybe more positive influences in your life. Again, I, I completely empathize with family being maybe sometimes challenging to deal with and if those are family members um, that that push that button within yourself um, try to think of ways of keeping yourself into a positive mental attitude and that comes with practice don't be hard on yourself if you find yourself you know, thinking negatively again. Um, we did. I didn't get it right the first time. And again, as I said before, I still mess up with amazing regularity, as uh, Penny Quill Pierce would say, um, which is which is my my trainer. Uh, but um, but yeah, keep going and keep at it. Um, because it will pan out. And I know this from my own experience. Um, so yeah. Um, I'm just reading my notes to see um, if there's anything else that I would like to say. No, so um, thank you for everyone who supported me. And I'm just going to reiterate one or two points. Again, when you find yourself not knowing what to do and you'd like to have more input from your soul, from your gut instinct, put your hand on your heart and ask the question three times um, for easier um, success or for easier replies, make it a yes or a no question. But it doesn't have to be. You know, you can make it your own, make it your own preference. Uh, that's just a, a tip. And and do you know your preferences? Write down three things that you would like to uh, experience more of, uh, or even things that, that are new to yourself that you've never experienced, but you would like to experience. Write them down and do the things that make you happy, make your soul sing. So thank you all for joining me. I do hope that you've enjoyed it. And um, again, you've heard me talk before about breath work and I do bring it back to breath work that if you do find that you weren't able to, to state your preferences or that, that you would like to uncover more of yourself or get yourself out of the recurring patterns and recurring situations that are happening to yourself, then um, please do book yourself in the last slot that I have um, uh, for Wednesday, the 18th of July um, for breath work. Um, and I do hope that I see you there. So thank you all very much. Have a good evening. Bye-bye.